Could you please put your hands up if you are a student and you would like to be a developer? And if your hand is up, what are you doing to kind of prepare for it? Are you doing lead code? Are you making your own projects? Uh, making going to network dinners and etc. And one of the things that you can do according to this article, is contributing to open source. At least I think that's what this article tried to say. <clears throat> From students to developer, how open source can launch your career. Discover how contributing to open source projects can transform your journey from student to professional developer. It's an article written by Tessa Mero, who is, a, who is the head of developer relations at AppRight. I think we're all interested in increasing our chance of, of getting a job. I think we're very lucky in this job market. As developers, as software engineers, I think it's one of the more secure, more stable, less industry dependent, less uh, company de uh, country dependent, place dependent. I think we are pretty lucky with our job. But at the same time, the competition is always tough. To stand out, we need to do things and do things. And one of the things is contributing to open source projects. And we can dig a little deeper into it. Before we start, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Pascal. I am studying masters in software engineering. My background is in PhD mathematics, and I was a data scientist. And on this channel, we would like to we like to read articles daily that is to do with software engineering, development, and anything that's related to that, even productivity. So if that interests you, make sure to like and subscribe. You might still be a student, still learning, or still wondering where you belong in tech. You scroll through GitHub, see contributors building amazing things, and it feels like they are miles ahead. But here's the truth. Every great developer you admire once made their first pull request too. And that first contribution was not their end point. It was their beginning. What is Hectoberfest? Hectoberfest is a month-long celebration of open source. Each October, developers from all over the world make their first contributions, fixing bugs, improving documentation, or adding new features to projects that anyone can use. For many, it is their first step into real-world collaboration. It is how they gain hands-on experience, connect with other developers, and start building the foundation of their careers. But whether you joined Hectoverfest or contributed to an open source project on your own, the message is the same. You have already started your journey. This is the start of your story. Your first pull request, no matter how small, proves something powerful. You can collaborate, communicate, and contribute to something bigger than yourself. For sure, and it's and it also shows that you can grab an idea that's existing, pull it, understand it, and then spot an improvement, and then suggest an idea how to fix it. And that's a great thing. My story started with an with open source back in 2011, 2012, where I joined a community that help and helped out in different areas. This had le has led me to endless opportunities and helped me land jobs. That is what open source really gives you. 1. Real-world teamwork in global, asynchronous environments. 2. Peer reviews and mentorship from experienced engineers. 3. Communication practice through documentation and issue discussions. 4. A public record of your progress and growth. I've never really done open source contributions myself, and I'm ashamed to say it. I would love to contribute to the community. I would like to get all these benefits. But yeah, I've just been prioritizing other things. And I feel like this is something that I should prioritize more than I'm doing now. But I don't know if you have. And if you have, I would love to know more. Every contribution, even one, builds credibility. It is your foundation. The practice of collaboration with global teams in open source helped me with personal growth and improved my communication skills that prepared me for professional careers. Without open source, I don't know where I would be now. 
quality over quantity. As someone who has interviewed developers, I do not care how many PRs have you have made. I care about what they show. What they show. One thoughtful, well-written contribution tells me you understand the project context, you respect guidelines and feedback, you, collabor you collaborate professionally in reviews, you care about the craft of software. AI tools can assist you, but your thought process, curiosity, and voice are what makes your work stand out. <coughs> Don't get me wrong, AI is a huge help and can write better code than experienced engineers. But make sure you understand what it's doing. This is what employers notice. Your GitHub is your portfolio. Do not just treat GitHub as a storage space. It is your portfolio. Curate it like one. Add open source work to your resume or LinkedIn profile. Be specific. Improved database query efficiency by 30% through indexing optimization. A clean, consi consistent GitHub profile says more about your skills than any, of, any list of buzzwords. Visibility matters. Your next opportunity might begin with someone reviewing your code. I think this is really interesting. By contributing to open source, that's something that you can use in your portfolio that's something that you can use in your cv resume yeah but does it weigh how much does it really weigh does it weigh more than actual like is it something that's useful for something that someone who's already working a full-time job i would say yes but yeah I, this is something i think it's morally very very good to contribute to an open source <clears throat> but in terms of actual gain from it versus the effort you put in that's always something that i wonder and i'm not implying anything i just genuinely wonder because something this is something that i haven't done before learn and build in public share your journey online not just your wins but what you learned even a simple post like i just merged my first pull request here's what i learned about react hooks this is not self-promotion it is reflection it helps others who are starting out feel less alone and it helps future employers see your growth mindset. Growth beyond code. Writing great code is important, but so is helping others write, their, write theirs. Try reviewing pull requests from new contributors, writing documentation or tutorials, answering questions in community chats. These are leadership skills in disguise, and the same qualities that make something, someone a great open source contributor, empathy, clarity, and initiative Make them a great teammate too. Keep going. Whether you joined Hacker Hacktoberfest or just submitted your first contribution this week, do not stop now. Your journey has already begun. Keep showing up. Keep learning. Keep building. Because open source is not just about code. It is about people, opportunity, growth, and the next great creator, maintainer, or innovator might be you. I think this is something that resonates me a lot with open source. It is really about contributing to something that you are working on together with the community. And there's something really cool about that. And yeah. I think recently I've read a lot of articles that really emphasize the op importance and the ad advantages that you can gain from open source and it interests me a lot and i really want to do it um yeah i gotta decide which open source and yeah learn the language you know, learn the stack and understand the code base and so on so i know that it's not an easy work so yeah that's why i've been hesita hesitating to really get into it but yeah i would really love to know if any of you has any experience like that and what your thoughts on it are but yeah that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.